Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Adam RPG with me, Bring It On. Uh, so I was going to meet you guys at the Death Tunnel at the beginning of this episode, but I decided to swing by Paragon uh, to fill up my car with gasoline because there's almost always a truck caravan in Paragon. Actually, I think there is always a truck caravan in Paragon. Uh, they can fill up your car for you. But when I stopped by the merchant to check out his inventory, he had this little treat waiting for me. So my first playthrough, I never found this gas mask. 100% toxic resistance gas mask is one of the most sought after items in the game. At least it used to be. I don't know if that's still the case or not. Uh, it's extremely rare, and I'm really excited that I found it. Because right now, the one that I have currently is just a 50%. 100% uh, is extremely rare. Anyway, I already grabbed a bunch of loot to trade him, because he, he's also sitting on a lot of rubles. So let's uh, start trading. So I want all of his... Actually, I'll probably just do it this way, right? Yeah, whatever. I'm not super worried about it. I will also grab these. Actually, we'll grab all of his ammunition while we're here, since we have more stuff to trade. It's alright. I'll take a I'll take a small hit to my my trade. Not a big deal. Uh, so anyway, uh, guys, can you lend me some fuel for my car? Nah, sorry. We don't have enough fuel ourselves. Well, that's the whole reason I came here is for fuel. But you know what? I'm still leaving a winner because I still got this 100% gas mask. I'm so excited. That's actually that's also extremely convenient for where we're headed as well. We might not need it, or we shouldn't need it where we're going. But uh, it's nice to have in case I do need it. I couldn't give this to Fidel, even though he doesn't need it. All right, let's get out of here. I'm uh, I'm really excited about that find. I wanted to show show it off before we go to the death tunnel. All right, let's give these to our companions. It will set off for. Oh, did we did we end up trading everything? Looks like we did. Okay. Well, let's rock and roll. To the old death tunnel. Alright, welcome to the death tunnel everybody. Well, the outside of it anyway. You know, there was a time I would question water bottles being inside a briefcase, but I had a professor in college who had, he would carry around one piece of paper in his briefcase and a thermos for his coffee, and that was it. So I assume that whenever I see someone with a briefcase, I just assume they have like gummy worms and comic books or something in there. Nothing they actually need. But as someone who's never actually had to carry a briefcase in an official capacity, I wouldn't know. All my briefcase knowledge is secondhand. I may as well grab these. I don't need them, but we can throw them in the car in case we ever need mushrooms again. But we've done all the mushroom gathering quests, which uh, there are two of. It's the only item in the game that you have to collect. For two different quests. For uh, both. Oh, they're rotten. Well, never mind then. Because uh, you have Katya and Ochenorie, and then you have the Apothecary or whatever he is in Krasno. 
Did I go in here? I did not. Okay, so I lockpicked this door. They both lead to the same area. Well, they... there's really no reason for that door. I mean, it's a slight shortcut, but you miss out on... But you don't miss out on anything. You just backtrack. There's no reason to go through that door. It's just extra experience. Alright, so this, we need to go down the tunnel uh, for our current quest objective for the Mushroom Cult. But we're going to go this way first. There's a body over there. Let's, uh, let's check out this room first. Actually, you know what, I'm curious, do these gas masks have different appearances? Nope, they look identical. So it's possible that I have found a 100% gas mask and I just overlooked it previously. I do think these scavengers that you run across in the wasteland uh, that will trade with you, I think they have a 75% gas mask, but you have to kill them to get it. As far as I know, there's no repercussions for killing scavengers. Unlike caravans, where if you kill caravans, you get hunted down by a group of absurdly powerful mercenaries. I uh, will have Alexander grab all this stuff. skipped a little bit there. I don't know if that was just my headset or if that was in the game. I'm hoping it was just my headset. Alright, 9696. Did I commit that to memory? I can ask my companions about this place. Yeah, what do you know about this part of the wasteland? We're in the central wasteland now. Okay, so it's just a uh, general. That's lame. I was hoping maybe he had heard rumors about the uh, death tunnel. Alright, a bloody note. A note both torn and bloodied. Oh, hey there, stalkers. So you found my rotten corpse, poked around it for a laugh. But wait, there's more. A story is coming, as well as a strange biology lesson, and a treat for the road. Anyway, this place. The next two lines are striked out. Anyway, it's chaos over there. I won't ever drink to the honor of the guys whose bones are lying there, scattered in the corridors. They killed each other, those, so those soldier boys. And that, instead of protecting the motherland. Pathetic. Still, I got us a pile of rusty weapons, some canned goods, and who knows what else we'd find. If it wasn't for those critters... The Nibblers is what Vova Pincer calls them. He swore he saw them before. Maybe he did. But I sure as hell didn't. And probably it's the same for you too. Now imagine a snake got it on with a mutant sewer rat, and they got a baby. That baby wasn't all cuddles and funny noises, but a creepy, slimy beast. Glowing eyes, teeth like sabers, long double tongue, and the speed. Marina was still trying to say something, when that thing got the top of her head clean off with its claws. We ran towards the exit, screaming our lungs out. It was pretty fun, although quite scary. Avova got picked off as he ran. Last time I saw him, a massive critter jumped on his back from a vent. What a way to go. I got away, and all I got was a deep bite at my forearm. I got nothing to stop the blood with. Anyway, if you want to retrace our steps, the code is on the wall. Big enough for you? What else? What else? Oh, I know. You can totally drink the vodka from my backpack. It's clean and clear like a baby's tear. The bread and ham I had with me will probably mummify until you find my body, though. Well, time for stalker heaven. Rivers of vodka, shores of roasted meat, and so much loot all around. It's strange, though. Every time I close my eyes, I only see flames. Maybe these are the campfires of heavens. Olyan Redface Zharkarov. Alright, the code is 9696. 
And up we go. And that's the door that leads back out. Oh wait, actually there's something I want to grab while I'm out here. In case we need it. I don't think that we will. So the shortcut did come in handy after all. Alright, there is a... Where is it at? I'm going to grab this toolbox. I didn't need it last time. But I have different stats than I had last time, so we'll see. Antidote. Won't ever need those again, because I have 100% toxicity resist. Which is extremely convenient, and I'll show you guys why in just a second. Also, Alexander needs to be carrying all this junk. Alright, so early on I did pump points into technology for... Fidel. And that was for a very specific reason. I stopped doing it, and I regret stopping. I should have kept putting points into it, because I still don't think he has enough to bypass a puzzle. If I give this to him, he should go up to 101. Perfect. Alright, so this is the uh, door uh, that requires the code that we found on the wall. So as you can see, this entire area is poisoned. The entire the entire dungeon except for where we need to go for the Mushroom Coat quest, which is down this tunnel. And obviously up here to the turbine. That's why the mask that I found is so valuable, because otherwise this area would be a pain and the uh, the rear end to explore. Unless you can fix the turbine up here, which we're going to try and do. Some wires, okay. Wait, I didn't unlock that. Come on. I'm not going to grab the microchip. Actually, I'm going to grab it and then I'm throw it on the ground. Just so this... Uh, I know that we cleared this out. medicine and stuff. Perfect. Alright, let's check out the turbine. You see a giant turbine. Its metal sides are covered in a thick layer of dust. A small hatch becomes noticeable. Seems like it can be broken into. Uh, look at the turbine. You don't really get the precise role of this machine. Judging by the huge vents, it is somehow connected to electricity production, but you're not sure. Alright, let's take the lid off. After some tricky moves, you finally take down the lid. Nodding to yourself, you put it on the floor and look inside the machine. A true mess of wires and parts is now before you. Uh, try fixing it. No, this is too hard for you. You pull some tumblers, you stare at gears, but ultimately you decide to leave the contraption alone. Alright, so Fidel is currently holding the toolbox. He has 101 uh, technology. Uh, Fidel, you got any thoughts about this mess? Lo siento. Sorry, Donnie. The mechanics are an, ain't my strong suit. Oh. Well, that sucks. Uh, you sigh and turn back to the contraption. Try fixing it. Oh. So I can't fix it. So I think there's a puzzle associated with the, uh, the turbine, but I think it requires intelligence? Hmm. Well, if that's the case, then I am extremely glad that I found this gas mask. Uh, well, shoot. There's a puzzle. Like a multi-stage multi puzzle. 
Oh, shoot. Well, whatever. We have the gas mask. We don't need to fix the, uh, the turbine. Now, if I didn't have this gas mask, I would absolutely have to fix the turbine. Because there's no way I'm going through this whole dungeon and getting poisoned to death. Oh, Alexander. Oh, he'll be fine. But still, why do you go that way? Are we still in combat? I assume we're in combat with this rat. Some audio skipped again. I don't know what's going on with that. Alright, well this is frustrating. There's no bars in the way. So, I hope that's just my headset, not the game itself. Yeah, keep skipping. I don't know what's going on with that. It's really weird. I should have just attacked twice. That was silly. If I pull back, maybe my allies will come this way instead of trying to go through another door somewhere else. Alright, Fidel should be fine over there. I'm getting a little messed up, so if you guys want to come back this way and help out, that would be great. They're gonna go that way instead and help out Fidel. Alright. Oh, Emperor Nibbler. You realize he had a unique name. What is going on with the audio? That's so weird. Again, yeah, it could just be my headset. Uh, it needs to be replaced. <laughs> okay, 282 experience. Fantastic. So I did want to check one thing real fast. Yeah, this can't be poison. Good, good. Um, I'm not going to take... A stim pack or a stimulant uh, because I'm trying to just power through my withdrawal right now. So I'm just gonna eat some food instead to fix myself up a bit. I shouldn't take that much damage again going forward. Well, until we get to the tunnel itself. A weird note. Alright. Scribbles made either by nail or claw. Most of it is barely legible. When two leg no thing, he places this thing inside gray stuff that lives inside his head. When I eat gray thing, it makes me know the stuff two leg knew, and words he used to speak. I get to think like two leg did. While gray thing melts inside my stomach, I know things as well as two leg does. But then I forget, and it's all over again. There are three here. Two tall legs, and one small with squeaky voice. Um, I took the gray pie from little loud mouth two leg, and then chased tall two leg and ate his. His brains. Um, never had so many at once before. I know so much now. I know how fire sticks work, and how to open large white doors. I know how to use my paw to make signs that become words. I'll forget it all tomorrow. I'll become beast, become stupid. Will become someone who not know how fire stick work, how white door open. Uh, but this note will help. I'll crawl to it up. I'll crawl to it on my four legs. I'll read it. I'll remember it all. I'll walk away on two legs again. King rat, king rat, king rat, king rat, neeg rag, ki ra, ker. -er. 
I do like this little like side plot line with all the uh, the rats gaining sentience by eating brains. Where are you going, buddy? You idiot! Where are you going? Why are you so stupid? Quit being stupid, Hexogen. Get back here. Why is he running all the way around? What a moron! Jeez. All right. It'd probably be faster just to go this way and then go through this door. He should be fine. I mean, it's just a bunch of regular... Well, no, he might not be fine. If it was just all the regular rats, he'd be... Oh, okay, he might be fine. Yeah, he's okay. Never mind. I forgot he had an upgrade to his... Uh, fist weapon. Like, he's, he's no joke in close quarters now. Darn it. Soul bars? Alright, well, he's your problem now. Alright, good job, everybody. Except for Hexogen, who went off and did his own thing. Did I loot these bodies? Did not. I do like how I can just wander this area without getting poisoned. It's uh, it's really nice. I'm really, really glad I found that gas mask. I cannot express how lucky that is, especially since I couldn't do the uh, the turbine puzzle and repair it. Sometimes the wasteland giveth, sometimes the wasteland taketh away. So happens that this time around the wasteland and giveth. Let's loot all these rats that Hexogen slaughtered in here by himself. Well, let's go in here. <laughs> Good job, Hexogen. So he does a crazy amount of damage with that glove. So, why does he do so much with the glove? I want to figure that out real fast. So, Hexogen has 105 martial arts. How much damage does the glove do? I guess that would be the best place to start. So, if Fidel hardly does any damage, he does 5 to 10 with the sharpened knife. A chance to ignore armor, 15%. Oh, 16 to 27, that's why. Okay. So, I think... I don't know if I ever found a battle gauntlet in my first playthrough. I know I didn't have uh, Hexogen go martial arts. At least I don't think I did. I think he went melee weapons as his secondary. So I should have probably had Alexander go martial arts because he had a higher martial arts skill starting out. Alright, so Bar is going to start collecting some meat for me. Right, let's finish clearing this room out of rats. And then we'll start looting the lockers. I think there's a couple more rats over here. Yeah, my audio skipped again. I don't know what's going on with that. Hopefully it's something I can just relaunch the game and fix. Or, again, if it's just a headset problem with it. Then I don't have to worry about it. It only affects me and not you guys.
Oh, hello. There's... Oh, there's lockers over here. Okay. The knife. All right, Alexander, start stocking up, big guy. Of course, like none of these are going to be locked, so we can't just farm experience by picking all the locks on all these uh, lockers. That's right, aren't Yeah, I'm sitting a bunch of bottles. Let's give those to Alexander as well. Oh wait, oh, I didn't clear that room out. Ran right past it. I will right, we'll do that after we clear out of these lockers, I guess. Alexander, you'd have that if you, in case you ever need it. So I probably just sell all the antidotes that I have now that I don't need them because I don't, I can't get poisoned. Though I don't know if creatures that poison you by attacking, like rats and uh, spiders, if that bypasses the uh, the gas mask. I'm assuming that it doesn't. It just says 100% toxicity resistance. loot this room, loot the rest of those lockers, then we can call it an episode after that. Then we'll finish the death tunnel in the next one, hopefully. Hopefully things keep going as smooth as they have been. Again, finding that gas mask was a... a beautiful thing. It is funny that I stopped by Paragon with the sole intention of just getting fuel for my car, so I could hold onto the gasoline that I have and the bottles to uh, refuel Lennon's Wrath when I need it. And then uh, they didn't, they couldn't give me fuel, but they gave me what I really needed, which was a gas mask. Something that I had searched for in the first, uh, my first playthrough I never found. Actually, I think that ski hat that I just picked up matches my current sweatshirt that I have on. I'm pushing my luck with this uh, whole inventory thing. Let's give this to Alexander. save that room for the next episode. Come on.
little time consuming. But we're getting there. The loot, of course, is worth it, so. I don't want to go into the kitchen yet. We'll save that area for the next one. I did clear out these, I think. I think that's all the lockers in this room. Let me double check. Do one more jog around the uh, the outskirts of the room. One more lap. Oh, well, there's those. We'll save that for the next one. I don't think I can activate those anyway because I don't have the technology required. Sims machines say, oh, if you knew more about anything, you would be able to identify what these were. But you're just a big dumb dumb that swings a weapon real good. Well, actually, I have uh, average intelligence. I shouldn't bash my character too much. Can't open that door. Okay, cool. Ah, screw it. Let's clear out this room. That didn't take as long as I thought it was going to to clear out the uh, all the lockers there. Yeah, I'm starting to think that uh, putting Alexander on martial martial arts is a uh, is a better decision than melee weapons because he starts with a higher martial arts skill, and again the battle gauntlet is how does it compare to the Taiga machete? I am curious. So this is 12 to 30, 10 percent chance of causing panic, which is really good, but Alexander hardly ever gets to attack, so it's not that great. And also has a chance to ignore armor uh, by 20 percent. Still 16 to 27. Has lower max damage by three, but a higher minimum damage, which I think having a higher minimum damage is more important than a higher max damage. Because uh, then you have at least that guaranteed like bottom line of damage that you can do, and then you can always crit. So I don't think max damage is ever as important as minimum damage. So I, do, I would say that Battle Gauntlet is better. And like takes three AP to uh, attack, where this takes four at a minimum. But the chance to panic is pretty good. I think that's a good passive for an NPC to have. Uh, one of the companions to have. So we'll trigger all the time, but when it does... Which I think it did off camera when I was traveling to Paragon. I fought some cultists on the way. And had a cultist that got scared and ran away for no reason. I'm just now realizing that's probably why she ran, because she got attacked by Alexander. But I don't know if he attacked her. I think it may have been a grenade. There was a suicide... A uh, bomber. One of the cultists ran up and blew himself up on all of his buddies. Then she dipped out. Alright, screw it. May as well explore these rooms too. Well, nah, I don't, I don't want to keep pushing my luck. Grab these cups and then we'll... Let's check out these machines and we'll save all these rooms. Well, there's only one rat in there. I don't think there's any loot. Screw it. Let's do it. Just... Right, there's an unknown machine standing before you. If you knew something about old tech, you might have even recognized it. Yeah. Go in here and take care of this rat real fast. Because there's nothing else in this room, I don't think. Uh, did we, oh, we aggroed those guys, too. Okay, well, this is why I should have stopped while I was ahead. Okay, so the attacks do bypass the gas mask. Good to know, good to know. Oh, he's messed me up. I'm gonna pull back and... Well, no, someone else is gonna block the doorway. 
and I don't want that. I'm gonna pull back one. I hope he doesn't kill me this turn. Oh, he's Emperor Nibbler. He's the same name. Oh man, I'm about to die. Get in here, guys. All right, let's hope I can kill him this turn. Super close. All right, run away. Don't die, Zobars. We're still in combat? Okay, well this is getting out of hand. Really fast. I'm avoiding, where's he going? Is he still charging in? All right, fine, go take care of that rat. Hopefully it's just this one and then we can call it an episode. I put you on aggressive, what are you doing now? Is there like a delay in his uh, orders? Let's see if I just pull back and exit combat. So bar should be able to open up doors, so we should be okay there. Is that gonna let me exit combat? Oh my goodness. Where's my last save at? Just so I don't have to do this combat right now. Quick save. That's a ways back. Shoot. Alright, well, it looks like we're gonna finish killing all these rats. It's not what I wanted to do. But it seems like that's what we're gonna have to do. Gosh darn it. I should have left that rat alone, darn it. Just left him alone. I guess I'll just kill all the rats and then we'll just explore, we'll loot everything in the next episode. I can't even get past Ulbar, so he needs to move. Uh, can you avoid? Oh, okay, they're coming through this door. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> Stupid rats. Alright. Let's get out of here real fast. <laughs> Done fighting. Let's loot this rat. We'll call it an episode. <laughs> They got out of hand so fast. All right, we're out poisoned a little bit. Uh, have that's not working. All right, here, boom. Problem solved. Have antidotes to spare, so I'm not worried about it. All right, I'm gonna call this episode here. In the next one, we'll continue through the death tunnel. Uh, we'll keep killing rats and looting, and uh, see what. What lies in wait at the end of the tunnel? Then we also have to go over here, and there's some nasty, nasty surprises on this side, besides the radiation. Uh, there's more to it than that. But we'll deal with that when we get there. Anyway, thanks for watching, and hope to see you guys in the next one.